Small and mid-sized businesses are responsible for half of our nation's workforce. And amid this pandemic, nearly a third of small businesses have stopped operating. That's according to a Oof. Facebook survey. And yeah. while Congress passed the Paycheck, Paycheck Protection Program in March, allocating $669 billion so far, those funds were meant to cover just eight weeks of expenses. This is clearly going a lot longer. Our next guests have drafted a bipartisan bill to support small and mid-sized businesses for the rest of the year. Joining us now, Democratic Senator Michael Bennett of Colorado and Republican Senator Todd Young of Indiana. Thank you guys so much for being with us. More importantly, thank you for working together across party lines uh, to fight for small businesses. Mm -hmm. They are the backbone of this country uh, economically. And uh, the more work, great work you do, uh, the better it is for them, the better it is for all of us. Let me start, though, with something that was said earlier this morning, uh, Senator Bennett, and that uh, came from Zeke Emanuel, who's been very conservative. He's a, he's a very conservative doctor when it comes uh, to his guidelines for how we handle this pandemic. Uh, Zeke said, hey, Americans need to get out to the to the parks. They they need to walk on beaches uh, safely, obviously social distancing and eating outside restaurants. If the tables are separated and they have masks on, uh, you know, this this should not cause a problem because there's not a lot of uh, incidences of people catching this disease outside. Isn't that great news? And doesn't that send a message that if you're hearing that from Zeke Emanuel, who's very conservative when it comes to this, uh, that that we really should start moving forward and uh, and and getting small businesses going again in a safe and responsible manner that follow the White House guidelines. I, I completely agree with Dr. Emanuel. That's what Colorado is doing. We're being guided by the data. You know, if things spike again, we're going to have to. Uh, close down again. I think the objective that all of us should have is to restart the economy and to keep it open. And that's why we need the testing in place. That's why we need the contact tracing in place. And and that's why we've got to get the bill that uh, Todd Young and I have introduced in place, because so many small businesses, especially our hardest hit businesses, our restaurants and others that have been confounded by these stay at home orders and are still being affected by these stay at home orders through no fault of their own. You know, m most of them or one, only one in five, I think, have the cash to last for three months. Uh, Senator Young and I have a bipartisan proposal that I think will keep the vast majority of our small businesses in business through this pandemic and get us out on the other end. Senator Young, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for your work uh, for small businesses. I know Indiana's getting out there. They're getting back to work. Uh, talk about this bill and how it's going to help keep small businesses open through this pandemic. All right, we're going to work on on his audio, Senator Bennett. Uh, can you answer that question, and we'll get uh, yeah. we'll get Todd when when the sound comes uh, back. Go ahead. Sure. Sure. He could probably do a better job than I will do, but <laughs> it does two things. Basically, it does two things. One, it takes the PPP program that you mentioned, which is um, an eight week program, and it says we should extend that to sixteen weeks. Uh, which we need to do. But second, it creates a, a, a loan for, it's not a grant, but a loan for small businesses to cover their working capital for the next six months of the year so they can stay open until the economy begins to reopen and recover. And then people have seven years to pay back these loans. If we don't provide something like this, what we're going to see is uh, millions of small businesses in this country close and never reopen again. And as Mika said, they are the backbone of our economy. Uh, Senator Young, I think yes, we sir. have your audio now. Uh, tell, tell us about this bill and why it's so important that Republicans and Democrats come together to pass it for small businesses. 
Yeah, sorry about those audio challenges. The bill is so simple, it speaks for itself. Um, so uh, the Paycheck Protection Program, which was you know broadly bipartisan, provided a short-term bridge to the other side of this pandemic. It was all of our hopes that uh, we could contain the virus, uh, we could get folks back to work as we open up the economy in fairly short order. What we've done in this legislation is extended that program uh, for a number of weeks so that more people could benefit from it and, and then come up with a program, as uh, my colleague Senator Bennett said, for six months of payroll, for benefits, uh, for fixed costs, for the hardest hit businesses. We want to make sure that only the businesses that absolutely require these forgivable loans have access to them, but they need access to them. Otherwise, we're going to have small businesses and medium businesses that aren't solvent for the longer term. Sounds great. Willie. Senator yeah. Young. Yeah, Senator Young, it's Willie Guy. It's good to have you on this morning. First of all, we know you're the senator from Indiana because you have a shelf full of basketballs over your right shoulder, so we've established <laughs> that. Uh, but let's, let's talk about how this money gets into the pockets of people in your state, for example. Uh, there were some problems early on with PPP in terms of people not being able to access that money quickly. How quickly, once you have this bill passed, assuming you do, does the money get into the hands of those small business owners who, as you point out, don't have much time to spare here? Well, we intend to work through existing financial institutions, which is why, though there were some hiccups and friction points with the Paycheck Protection Program, uh, why, you know, compared to other government programs, the money got out there in a number of weeks. We think that we can pick up right where Paycheck Protection left off and, and, and get it out there in very short order. So that's one of the reasons we chose uh, the approach we did in the restart program so that people can work through their financial institutions. We also want to make sure that those businesses, those employers that employ over 500 people, have access to these funds. Uh, we stood up a program, the Main Street program for those employers, and um, it's it's still being developed. It hasn't been rolled out yet. And, and so this will be a simpler, uh, more accessible program that we think will help those employees uh, stay attached to the workforce during a down economy. So Senator Bennett, what's the prospect of this passing? Have you talked to Leader McConnell about it? I, I think having a, you know, it, to my knowledge, this is the only bipartisan bill that's been introduced on, on this subject. So I think actually the prospects are pretty good. I haven't talked to Senator McConnell about it. We got to, you know, in my view, we need to do more. We got to support our state and local governments so that we don't compound the recession that we're in right now, but with massive layoffs of police and firefighters and teachers. This would be an important part of a next bill. And I, I think hopefully people are going to hear what I think Todd Young and I are going to hear over this recess, which is you guys haven't done enough. We need to do more. And uh, when we come back, I hope we'll work in a bipartisan way to do it. One other aspect of this bill that neither of us has mentioned that I think is really important is that uh, because we, we, we make the firms that are eligible or firms that have lost revenue, uh, we ensure that firms that don't need the help don't get the help. Only the hardest hit businesses, which is, you know, a lot of businesses in my state and Todd Young's state will have access to it. And I think that's another improvement over the prior program and ought to be a reason to get bipartisan support. Boy, that is so important. I have so many uh, former constituents who uh, who have restaurants, family restaurants, uh, uh, Senator Young, that didn't get it in that first round, uh, that have small family businesses. Uh, really quickly, we've got to close. We're coming up on a hard break. But talk about how important it is that this money gets into the right hands. Well, look, I'm hearing from, from real business owners who spent their lives building up their business. Um, I'm hearing from their employees. Bowman Construction in Muncie, Indiana, Stan's Food Service in South Bend. These are real people with real families to sustain. Our legislation, the Restart Act, can help keep these businesses alive until consumer demand picks up again. All right. Thank you so much, Senator Young. Greatly appreciate you being here. Senator Bennett, as always, thank you as well. Good luck on this bill. Uh, we thank you all for working together. It's so important right now. All right, everybody, thank you so much for joining us today. And that does it for us this morning. Stephanie Rule picks up the coverage right now.
Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.